Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. Today, I'm going to run you through a slightly modified outbound campaign, but the real focus of this is actually on Apollo.io. Now, what I'm gonna run you through here is an amazing hack for Apollo.io that lets you extract leads at scale pretty easily. Now, Apollo.io is, is, is an amazing tool. Um, what it will let you do is find any company with certain parameters, certain filters, as well as people attached. But there is a big drawback. Here we've seen that I've created a very, very simple filter. I'm looking for companies in the European Union who have a keyword of defense. Yeah, well, defense is not fun. Let's change this. A keyword, and it includes something like um, e-commerce. Okay, I spelled that wrong. E-commerce embarrassing for me all right so you can see here we've got thirty-five thousand companies i want to contact them but i can only select a page at a time or if i have a custom plan i can select 100 at a time now this is normally okay for most people you will use the internal tool that apollo have so you'll create a campaign and it will run the emails automatically from apollo but for people who want to keep track in a global sense so i want to know who is interacting with my linkedin who's interacting with my website who's been on my Who's been on my pipe drive? Who's been on my website, for example? Uh, who's already in my pipe drive as an opportunity? It makes it pretty much impossible to do that unless you can extract this information externally and put it into your own air table like I have. But the problem for that is then you need to come here and do 25 all the time and it's a very, very manual process. Uh, so what I've put together is essentially a really easy way to call all of this information through an API, um, but with an API that is makes it really, really easy to change your filters each time. So every time you run a new campaign, you don't have to go through it and think about what you're doing. You can just come straight into the Apollo uh, platform like this. You make your search. So for example, e-commerce companies in the European Union, and then you copy the URL that's generated. You use a website, an amazing website called convertonline.io. They have something that converts a query string to a JSON. So it's taken this website address and it's returned it into an almost API, Apollo API compatible uh, request. What we do next is we copy and paste everything from the bottom up, up to view, find viewer ID. The reason for this is these do not matter at all for the API request we're going to make, so we just don't include it. So we copy everything from this little curly bracket all the way up to organization locations. And I add it into my um, campaign tab in Airtable here. So I have something called company search. I copy and paste it in. I have new cold tests uh, for the purpose of this video. And in company search, I copy and paste it in. So we can see here, I'm looking at organization locations in the EU. I remove page one, because each time we run this, we want it to do page one, then page two, then page three, then page four. Um, we have the organization keyword tags, e-commerce, and there's also organization keyword fields, tags, names. This is basically blank. You can ignore this. Now, we also run the same process for the profile search. So once I've found these companies e-commerce, I might have a certain person within the companies I want to contact. Uh, in this case, I've run a very, very simple one. Again, I've made the filters. There's uh, so many filters in Apollo.io, which is what makes it so powerful. But I don't really want to waste my time in an example showing you how that works. So we have just essentially people in the European Union, people who are marketing managers and management level. I had owner, but that seems unrealistic. Let's change the management level to heads. Okay, so 470 people from these companies, 35,000 different companies. Obviously, you'll play around with this for your own perfect, your own perfect combination of this. But the process is the same. Once you have the filters, you copy and paste the URL, you take it back to convert online, paste it in, and you copy everything from the bottom up, up to person titles. So copy it, put it into your CRM here, into the campaign file, profile search, control V. So we see here we have the person titles, marketing manager, uh, page one in this case, doesn't really matter, but we'll remove it anyway. Person locations, person seniorities, okay? And now we have the start page is zero, you always have to put this in and we mark it as ready to run. So what happens next is, well, I'll run it once and then I'll show you and explain every step along the way. So the first stage is to scan for these campaigns. So essentially this Airtable is looking for records that are ready to run and have not been completed yet. So we see here, there's an extract here of 329, 3,529 pages. And we just got through one page. So we're very, very far away from finishing this and you can see here, if you remember the start page was originally zero, now it's one because we've already run one process. So what happens is there's a text parser which takes this information we have here in the company search, organization locations, 
and it makes it into something that the Apollo API can actually read. So the reason for this is, we can see what's changed here. The Apollo API doesn't use organization locations. It will use organization underscore locations. So we need to put that in. There's another step as well, where we remove the capital letters to uh, minor letters, which we do within the HTTP request itself. So as I mentioned, we need to remove the uppercase letters. So we have a lower here. And essentially what this does is it looks for pages starting at zero, then plus one. So the next time it will be two, the next time it will be three, the next time it's four. And it completes the rest of the API call with the information premiere table. Now, this is brilliant because it means you can run this process every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes, every day, every two days, every week. And it'll just keep on generating companies for you. So you don't have to come back into Apollo every day, change filters, change all of this. You can run multiple campaigns from a central Airtable CRM. And once you've uploaded that, that little bit of API call into the company search and profile search, it'll just run nonstop until it's ready. Now, in terms of the results that it returns, we can see here from the breadcrumbs that it's looked for company locations in the European Union, which is what we wanted, and people working in e-commerce, which is also what we wanted. There's 35,000 different companies, which is what we saw here in Apollo, 35,000. And we can also see here that there's 3,529 pages, which is what the Airtable has been updated to respond with here now too. And we know that we are one page into 3,529, so we can keep track of all of our progress very, very easily. But most importantly, it's returned the organizations. So we have the e-commerce foundation, we have DHL e-commerce, we have DHL supply chain, and it gives you a bunch of information about the company. Now, the next step is essentially updating that air table with the information I outlined earlier, the page number and the total amount of searches possible. And it takes all of those individual companies and it runs uh, essentially searching for people. So we have another text parser again to do the same parsing as before. We have the person titles. So we have uh, person titles. This needs to be changed to person underscore titles. Uh, so that's what that text parser does. There's an example here. Person titles becomes person underscore titles. Person locations becomes person underscore locations. We have essentially we're looking for two people per page. Now, the reason for this is you don't want to be getting 100 people from a company. Two is enough. You can change this to one, four, five, 100. It's up to you. I keep it at two. It also looks for people at the organization domains. So, for example, it's looking for the marketing managers at uh, the company that we were searching for, dhlexpress.com or whatever. And then the rest of it is pre-filled out. So, as I mentioned, the person title, the person locations. So, in terms of what it returns... Here is an example of one of the returns. We have uh, essentially somebody, Christian Bernhard, marketing manager, they're working at uh, Crossmass and BHM, G GMBH, I guess this is a German company. So this is one of the companies that was found on page one. And it's returned us a whole bunch of information about them, their title, their email address, whether the email is verified, a bit more information about the company, um, basically their department that they're in, the sub-departments, the functions, the seniority. And it'll return two people from each company, which is exactly what we want to happen. And then once we have those people, it's pretty easy to check for existing contacts in our CRM. Do they already exist? Are these brand new people? If they are brand new, if you can enroll them into a reply.io campaign. So within your campaign, I don't have a setup for this one, but you can see in others, we have uh, campaigns we can set up in reply.io. We take the number of the campaign, we add it here, then they'll be automatically enrolled put them into a LinkedIn matched audience, either for a personal or a LinkedIn matched audience for a company, and then update the Airtable with that information. So this is essentially identical to my other outbound automation um, that you can see. The only difference here, I've realized that some people found it very, very, very tricky to actually complete these API calls for multiple different campaigns that we're having to figure out, all right, what job titles do I need? Type it all out, where are they based? And they didn't, uh, the Apollo API documentation doesn't tell you, for example, the industry codes. It doesn't tell you, um, it doesn't give you a list of all of the different filters you can use. So this little workaround by using a text parser and the convert.io, it has the big benefit that it means that you can create campaigns really, really, really quickly within the Apollo.io interface. So you can select different industries, for example, and then well, you can see how selected airline aviation, we copy and paste this back in. And the big advantage here, again, organization industry ID tag, there is no list 
of these ID tags. You can't say, I want aviation, therefore I need 5567E02. It's very difficult. What this lets you do is just copy and paste in the details from a search, take that JSON up to, up to the viewer finder ID, pop it into the Airtable, and then everything runs as normal. And then you can keep on going and going and going. So for example, I can run it again, as we can see here, if updated to page two, and now we have an extra eight, ten, uh, an extra twenty or so contacts to add into the CRM for the outbound. So, if something like this uh, interests you, please get in contact. Um, I will be updating my cold outbound scenario to include all of this stuff. So, if you want to buy that on Gumroad, it is available and it will be updated with this information. But if you have something more complex or less complex, please just get in contact. Uh, like and subscribe. It gives me a motivation to make more videos like this. And please reach out for for anything. All right. Thank you.